Hey guys, my name is Jakovas and this is a short tutorial on how to make the Stranger Things theme. Normally this theme was made using analog synths to get that 80s vibe. But today we're going to be using two MIDI synthesizers inside of Cubase. We're going to be using the Native Instruments FM7 and the Korg MS20. The FM7 is based on the Yamaha DX7 and the Korg MS20 on the original analog Korg MS20. I'll show all the tracks so you can pause the video if you like to see all the settings. The composition of the theme is really simple. It's mostly an arpeggio with a few sustained notes and a few sound effects. So the main theme goes something like this. So this pretty much goes through the entire song, and the only thing that changes is the actual sound of the synth, and it changes through automation. And for those that don't know what automation is, here's an example of how it looks and sounds. So back to the sounds of the synths. The two main sounds that I've chosen are the Korg MS-20. In fact, they're the exact same sound, but modified differently. The top track here acts more like a lead, and below it more like a bass. On almost every track I'm using a low cut filter and a high cut filter to remove the bass frequencies and the high frequencies. Also you'll see a lot of reverb on all tracks. So on this track I'm using an equalizer here, again with a low cut filter. This removes some of the resonances and give it a bit high frequencies. And also at the beginning of the track I'm using a bit crusher. This basically makes the sound a bit lo-fi, and I'm using it just at the beginning of the sound. Additionally, I've got a compressor here, but it's simply just to give it a bit more gain. So on the bass track, I've got a high cut filter here, just to leave the bass frequencies, a bit of reverb, and the compressor to make the sound a bit more round. Now my effects, I'm using two reverbs and one delay. On both instances of the reverb, I'm using an R verb stereo, which is a Waves plugin. You can see my settings here. And I've got a reverb with a longer sustain, which is this one here. You'll see on both I have a low cut filter. The delay settings is this one here with a low cut and high cut filter. Now the two synths at the beginning, which are these, It's basically an FM7 and a Korg MS20. The preset on the FM7 is called Detune Pad, and the preset on the Korg MS20 is called the BPF Air Stab. On both of these plugins, I've got an effect called Chopper. This makes it a bit more staccato, a bit more rhythmic, a bit more punchy. With it, without it. You can see a really long low cut filter here and some high frequencies on this one and on the other one. On the other track I again have a chopper, a low cut filter, high frequencies, a reverb and delay. For the kick drum I'm using Reason but you can use other samples if you like. So it's pretty much the same sample, processed a bit differently. It has a bit more tone or high frequencies. And a bit more level. To make it a bit more dynamic. Now all the remaining tracks are pretty much sustained notes or pads to give it a bit more ambience and atmosphere. 
So for the track sustain number one, I'm using the Dancy plug synth. And for the track sustained number two, I'm using the Corgams 20 again with the Morphine Arp line. And here are the notes for the intro track. Sixteenth notes. Here are the notes for the main theme. Eighth notes. And here are the notes for the sustain notes. That's pretty much it. Now here are the settings for the sustain one track. Just some reverb. And the settings for the track sustain number two. High cut filter, low cut filter. Just to leave the mids, mid frequencies. A compressor to make it a bit rounder with a bit more sustain. And of course the reverb and delay. Moving on, we have a choir sound here, and I'm using Halion 1 with the A Choir preset. Here's the chord here, a E and a B. And these are the settings for the choir sound. High cut filter, low cut filter, removing some of the resonances here. The compressor here just gives it a bit more gain, doesn't really compress it. And the reverb. So this track here is giving it some ambience and I'm using the FM7 with the Atmos Sweep sound. And here are the notes. And here are the settings for the track with a high cut filter here, an additional high cut filter on this EQ. And I'll also have an r -Bass stereo which pretty much gives it some harmonics on the bass frequencies. And the last two tracks pretty much work like sound effects. On this one here I'm using again the FM7 with the standalone preset. And these are the notes. On their own. And the second track here I'm using the Halion 1 with the Lead Bytes preset. And this is how it sounds. This is also where you can see the reverb in action. And without it... And with it. Additionally, you can see that I have some volume automation going on. Here and there. So that's pretty much it for this video. I also wanted to add something of my own style at the end, as you can see here. And I've pretty much put a couple of MIDI instruments. I've used the Trillion bass guitar here, the Addictive drums here. Have a couple of cymbal samples here, some of my own singing, and a few vocal samples here. So have a listen and tell me what you think in the comments. I've also put a link where you can download the MP3 for free if you want. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.